Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video acknowledging the uh, shout out from Veritasium and all the new subscribers that have come from that. Um, it was a lot of fun being able to collaborate with him on his latest video. And certainly if you haven't seen that, it's well worth watching, but I assume most of you are coming from that. Um, I just wanted to give a brief overview of the types of projects that I might be covering in the next coming months. I personally enjoy working on high voltage and high current pulse power projects, so it might be a fair bit of that. Um, I've got some rather large vacuum tubes here that I might use to make a vacuum tube Tesla coil. I also have recently acquired some cheap Chinese pulse capacitors, uh, 1200 volt 40 microfarad that I might be able to use with these IGBTs here and make a solid state Tesla coil or maybe a coil gun or some sort of launcher. Um, and I also actually have an even larger vacuum tube here that is actually a 150 kilovolt diode and I haven't powered it up ever. I just uh, made this base for it kind of as a display piece, but I think it'd be pretty cool if I can get a 600 watt filament transformer and I can power this thing on with some high voltage and just see how it works. That could be fun. Um, I have a, a new high voltage power supply coming from eBay that should do uh, 30 kV. And with that, I'd like to delve into some, some high voltage experiments with 3D printing to see if there's a viable method of 3D printing high voltage standoffs um, or high voltage relays that you could use in all sorts of high voltage applications. I think that'd be a, a neat project to work on as well. So I can use this new power supply that I'm getting as a high pot tester for those. And it also would be cool kind of in reference to the Verifstassian video to do a little experiment that demonstrates that there is in fact surface charge buildup in a high voltage circuit. On the positive side you'll have a buildup of positive charges and the negative side you'll build up of negative charges and you can actually detect that electrostatically um, with just a high voltage supply going through a string of resistors and so that'd be a neat experiment to do. Um, kind of relevant to the latest videos. And of course I can also do some more HFSS or Maxwell 3D ANSYS simulations. Um, the simulations you saw in Veritasium's video were, were actually computed on uh, the ANSYS cloud network and so simulations of that detail um, or length might not be possible on my personal computer but there are a lot of simulations that can be done and if people are just curious what the electric field or magnetic field vectors look like in a dipole antenna or a loop antenna or you know something like that or radiation patterns that sort of thing um, you know just throw suggestions in the comments and you know, I'll see if I can whip something up in ANSYS and show you guys the results also in general I, I enjoy working on all sorts of electronics projects not just pulse power so if there's anything that is of particular interest to you guys I'd be happy to hear about it in the comments and You'd read through just to get ideas of, of projects I might enjoy as well. And maybe I'll see them in a future video. Thanks. Bye.